this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Such scenes here, a sea of team colours, songs ringing down from the stands. The tone is set for the 90 minutes ahead. And so we stand for the anthems. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. Egypt have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. the way who do you think this turns on Jim well this guy Wilfred Zaha we all knew about his ability as a winger but I think he could be a, a far more rounded player than that Peter his best performances seem to come when given the freedom to roam and he's allowed to play through the middle behind the central striker okay interesting well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. Kosunu goes direct to the front line. And he's had it nicked away. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Nelly. Mustafa Mohamed. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge himself into trouble there free kick given away and just to confirm that the referee did issue a yellow card for that earlier incident that has been cut short oh that's a key interception ivory coast playing here with a nice expansive style yeah with their fullbacks making up the numbers in attack too just need to make sure the back line doesn't become too stretched and face with too much ground to cover. Bye. Move forward and quickly so. Well played, that has snuffed out the danger. And there's his chance to lead the counter. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. 
Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Kanga just eases him off the ball. Fiddles it through. Now it's Saha. He's found a way through. Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him pass. Stood up well to him there. Kessier. And it's Aurier. And the return pass. And here's Saha. Interesting ball. Aurier. Massive leap! They've scored! And it's Ivory Coast who take the lead. What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Ivory Coast take the lead, 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Kessier! Kessier! Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Kessier really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Tries to get it clear. And now a sudden chance to counter. Kessier. Aurier. Pinches it off him. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. So the end of the first half, both teams have had their moments. There's been no shortage of talking points, but there has been just one goal. And that is the state of it at the break. 1-0. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. So we're already into the second period. Egypt don't need to press the panic button just yet. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Hagazi. Played into space out wide. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Okay. Showing good feet. Now by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. Trezeguet. And he's heaved it away. Kessier. So what can they make of this? Challenge just a bit on the firm side. Little doubt, that is a foul. And that is as far as they're going to go. And here's Saha. Aurier. And he was alert to it. That'll be a corner. Played out towards the right wing. Cross from Aurier. And now they can spring out of defence. Forwards and with intent. And it's Salah. 
No, that's been intercepted. Chance to break. Shifted upfield. Now it's Sahar. He's shifting through the gears here. And he welcomes it in. Trezeguet. Oh, Super Bowl! Ivory Coast clearly have been instructed to kill this off. Offence is the best form of defence. Keeper's got good distance on that. Ivory Coast have it back and they can go again. That's going to go a long way. Ivory Coast have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. And it's been given away. Well, there's plenty to like about this approach. Get your head down, keep battling away, and eventually things might change for you. Now, looking to orchestrate a counter. Now it's Gradle. Shapes the shoots! Ivory Coast can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Now, who's going to be first to this? And that's that. 